In this video, I want to cover some problems you might see on the College Mathematics Club involving linear equations. In the xy plane, the graph of which of the following equations is perpendicular to the graph of the linear equation 3x minus 4y equals 0. All right, so we have one line, 3x minus 4y equals 0, that is perpendicular to one of these answer choices. So our first goal is to find out the slope of the, of the first equation here to 3x minus 4y equals 0. To find the slope there, you want to put it in slope-intercept form. Slope-intercept form looks like this, y equals mx plus b, where m is your slope. Okay, so if you get the y by itself, the number in front of the x will be your slope. So I'm going to take this 3x minus 4y equals 0 and get the y by itself. All right, my first step will be to so, subtract the 3x from both sides. And because my goal is to get the y by itself, so I need to get rid of every other term that's on that side. And you got to do the opposite. This is adding 3x, so I need to subtract 3x to get rid of it. That adds up to 0, makes it disappear from the left side. Okay, that leaves me with negative 4y equals negative 3x. Now I get the y by itself. I'm going to divide by negative 4 on both sides. That's going to end up giving me a positive 1 here. I'm going to cancel out the 4, maybe just 1. 1y or just y. Now the right side, negative is going to cancel each other out, give me a positive number. So give me 3 fourths x. Okay, and I said what's, whatever is in front of the, the x term is our slope. So our slope here is 3 fourths. Now a line that's perpendicular to that, you know, a line, if you have a line going this way, perpendicular line would be another line that intersects that first line at a 90 degree angle. Okay, and when that happens, there's a special relationship between the slopes of these two lines. Uh, the first line will have a slope, I'll just call it M1. The other line will have, it's going to be a negative reciprocal of M1. All right, so what's the negative reciprocal? Basically, flip it over and change the sign. So if one slope was 2 thirds, the negative reciprocal would be negative 3 halves. Okay, if I had negative 2 fifths, negative reciprocal of that would be positive 5 halves. Okay, if I had two, negative reciprocal would be negative one half, because two is the same as two or one. So I flip that over, it'd be one over two and change the sign. So over here, we're dealing with three fourths. So the negative reciprocal of that would be negative four thirds. Okay, so we're looking for a line that has negative four thirds as its slope. And all these answers are in the y equals mx plus b form, slope intercept. So if we have negative 4 thirds, that's found in answer choice A. Okay, so that would be our answer. So in this problem, you need to figure out the slope of a line. You need to know what perpendicular meant. Another thing that goes with perpendicular is parallel, two lines that are parallel have the same slope, they won't ever intersect. So they have the same slope, M1, and the slope of the other one will be also M1, same slope, that's when it's parallel. Okay, and you need to know the slope intercept form, Y equals MX plus B. All right, in this problem it reads, if F is a linear function such that F of negative one equals three, and f of 5 equals 15, then f of 2 equals what? 
Okay, so basically they're giving us two points on the line. Negative one, three, and five, 15. Those are two points. Those are two points on the line. In order to find out what f of two is, I need to find the equation of the line or actually just draw the line and figure out where f of two would be on the graph. So my first step here is going to figure out the slope of this line. Okay, so I'm going to use the slope equation where m slope equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay, now this is x1, y1, and x2, y2. So I'll group them. One point has the ones together, x and y. Remember, your point is always x comma y. So I've got x1, y1, and x2, y2. So I'm going to plug that into my equation. So that's going to be 15 minus 3 over 5 minus a negative 1. That's going to give me 12 over 6, which reduces down to 2. Okay, so I have a slope of 2. So one way to solve this is, you know, if I'm at 5, 15, and our slope is really, you know, what they call rise over run, or change of y over change of x. Okay, so, so 2 or 2 over 1 means as we go, you know, from left to right, we're going to rise 2 and run 1. So what does that mean? That means I'm going to go over up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1, and I just keep on doing that. And those would be points on my line. Every time I go up 2 over 1, there'll be points on my line that I can draw through it. Okay, so if I'm at 515, that's a point. I want to go where x equals 2, so I need to kind of go backwards. So if I rose 2 or went over 1, I can go you know, in the other direction, go down 2 and back 1. Okay, if I went down to, I'm going to subtract 2 from 15 to give me 13. I'm going to take 1 away from the x, so I'm at 4, 13. That's the next point to the left. I'm going to do the same thing, go down 2 over 1. And it's going to give me 11 for the y and 3 for the x. I can do it one more time, down 2 over 1. That's going to give me 9 for the y and 2 for the x. All right, so just using the slope alone, I can get in, you know, go in reverse and find out my, when my x is 2, y equals 9. So the answer here would be when f, what's the answer for, so what's the answer for f of 2 would be equal to 9. Now the other way to solve this, which involves a little bit more time, would be to come up with the full equation of the line and then use the equation on line, plug in 2 for your x value and figure out your y value. So in order to do that, we need to use this equation y minus y1 equals slope m times x minus x1. 
So this equation is called the point slope equation uh, because it has a point x1, y1, and a slope of m. A point and a slope, point slope equation or a point slope formula. Okay, so I'm going to plug in one of the points and then plug in my slope and then get that into the y-intercept form. So we sit over here, 3 is our y1, and negative 1 is our x1. So it can be 1 minus 3. Our slope, we calculated as that being 2. Okay, and then we plugged in negative 1 for our x1, so that's going to become plus 1, because two negatives gives us a positive when we're multiplying. Now from here, I can distribute the 2. 2 times x is 2x, and 2 times 1 is 2. Now my goal is to get the y by itself, so I want to add 3 on both sides, so that disappears on the left-hand side. And I'm going to add 3 to the like term over here. 2 and 3 can add it together. So y equals 2x plus 5. Now this would be the equation of our line using the two points that they gave us, negative 1, 3, and 5, 15. Now if I plug in our 2 for x, Two times two plus five gives me four plus five or nine. Okay, so that's the same answer we got using just the slope. And just using the slope would be a faster technique here versus coming with the whole equation and then solving for f of two. Now, if they wanted to know the equation for this line, you would use that second method. So those are some problems you might find on the college mathematics club exam.